in the previous episode, we got a golden pheasant egg, or actually three of them, got level 50 mining, and also level 93 fletching, and finished level 55 thieving goal. We still have to get level 99 fire making, 99 fletching, and 55 magic until we get out of this junk. Hello, hello. Welcome to this episode and I want to start this episode by telling you to subscribe. And this lamp right here gives us level 50 magic. That's amazing. Only five levels to go. On this event, since we just got level 50 magic, I think you need level 50 magic that you can get like magic experience from this event instead of only getting fishing. Like, I think there is... I don't know the chat at all, but do we get fi uh, magic experience from this now? Please, I don't want fishing anymore. Shame, shame, sad. And here we are about to finish the maze, and let's hope we get some chaos runes. I would really enjoy some chaos runes. No, <laughs> not a single rune. It is so sad, it's literally like first event in two weeks and we get absolutely nothing. Oh my god. Well, it is what it is. So, we have just run out of all the grimy herbs we want to use for nature offerings. Clearly I don't want to use Raynars that I have, because we will need the prayer potions when we get Herblor opened. Like, really many of them. And also Snapdragons, because... Well, we need restores when we get, like, Toad... Fl we have 30 Toad Flaxes, so we get Sardom Improved, so we need the rest restores too. So I don't want to use them either for the nature offerings. And Toad Flaxes and all the below tier herbs doesn't work, because it needs to be the high tier herbs, like Snapdragons, Carantines, Landedimes, ETC, that you can make the nature offerings from. So these are the last ones we have. We run out of the run out of the herbs, and we are not getting any more until we get chaos runes or death runes that we go kill the elementals with because they are my only source of them. So when I run out of these, oh, let's hope we get the fox whistle from this event. Oh, it starts from there, of course. But yeah, when we run out of these, it's like. 450 more magic locks we can get in total. Not right there, for fuck's sake. So, then we probably just go for Willows, I suppose. If we AFK, we go for maybe use. I'm not really sure how we are gonna tackle the rest like 7000 magic locks worth of XP. So, we will see. And yeah, it's the 7000 magic locks worth of XP that we need, that we have 99 fletching banked, without the strings of course. And after that we can start going for the fire making XP. So I have been talking that 52 is our hunter goal for essence implings. Well, yeah, it's the goal, but we are, we might be getting level 60 hunter in this chunk anyway because I will not be stopping leveling hunter due to this place right here. We are one chunk away from Puro Puro chunk so I want to get as big of a head start as possible if we end up getting the Puro Puro chunk. So level 60 hunter would unlock us eclectic implings and from that we can get battle staff that requires 30 magic that we have and 30 attack to wield that we don't have and also we can get rune dagger 
So that would require us to get level 40 attack. So, our best in slot is at the moment Mithril Pickaxe, and if we get from the random event from the mystery box Mithril Scimitar, we will go straight away to here, Sears Village Pub or Underground to the Air Elementals, because, well, I need Grimy Herbs for the nature offerings, so my Wood cutting grind will be a little easier. Also, I need the 40 attack and Mithril Scimitar is the best slot to get that with. So, I would kind of kill two birds with one stone on that. I get the grimy herbs, I get runes, I get magic XP, I get wood cutting XP, and I get the attack XP if we end up getting the rune dagger, which is really possible that we will get. So, I was thinking like if we end up getting the Mithril Scimitar from the random event mystery box, we will go and get level 40 attack and then we would be a little bit closer to finishing this chunk. And here is the Eclectic Impling drop table if you were interested. There is like Adamant Kite Shield, Blue Dehide Chaps, Red Spiky Vampraces, Rune Dagger and Battle Staff, considerable drops, and also the Adamantite Ore that could possibly give us in the future level 70 smithing grind. But well, I'm not too worried about that because at the moment there is no iron ores or tin ores that I can get or mine, so it's pretty far away in the future still. So we will even get the level 70 grind anyway, so it's fine. So I have just decided I was doing some willows, like 100 or so, I may uh, cut them. Uh, like, I honestly hated it, every second of it. I need to still do like so, so many oak logs to get the 99 farm making, which is not AFK at all. So I just decided because the herb lore grind is so far away, like literally ages away, but I will just use the runner runners to make the to make the nature offerings, because, well, the magics are just so much better at AFK than doing willows, like concentrating all the time what you're doing, because they just stay up so little time. So I'm getting like 600 maple logs. That should take like two hours, two and a half hours or so, and get 60, like, the items from there. That's going to be around... 2500 nature offerings that should last me the rest of the grind, I think. So, I think that's the plan for now. Oh no. I just realized you can't use Raynars on this. So, I have only 8 Snapdragons to use, I think. I don't think I have anything else here. Runners, well, Toad Flax just doesn't work, Irish doesn't work, I don't think. Let's see. Yeah, that's a no, and that's a no. So, eight Snapdragons it is. Well, it's more than nothing. It's more than nothing. So, we ended up getting 320 nature offerings. And well, we have 540 maples in a bank at the moment. So... There's that. Well, let's hope we get the Chaos or Dead runes from the Maze Random events, or at least get the Maze Random events so we can go kill elementals and get more grimy herbs, or get the Mithril Scimitar so I can go get level 40 attack and get the grimies from there. Well, let's hope that happens soon. Look, guys, here is something really cool. Really, really cool. Over 2,000 pheasant tail feather, ah, pheasant tail, tail, pheasant tail feathers. Yeah, get down. Hard word. And we are not gonna do any more of those. We are, so that's the total we're gonna get from this grind. That's like over 10,000 bark. 
right there. Just selling them away. That's going to be amazing. This inventory right here, you can see at the right hand side, if we refresh the calculator, we have now banked level 98 fletching. So only 1.2 million to go to get the level 99 banked. Only one level to go. So this is what I mean, like 15k a day for mining when you have level 54 mining, like going to 90 wouldn't be really reasonable, I think. Like uh, 1.6k per day, I mean per hour. That's quite low. This mystery box right here gives us Mithril Scimitar, and we can now finally get the 40 attack done. So now we have started getting level 40 attack. Let's hope we get it fast. And let's hope we get as many grimy herbs like good ones that we can do the nature offerings. We just missed it, but level 25 attack. We missed it again, but that is level 1000 total level. And here we have level 55 mining. And the 55 mining means that we can finally mine mithril ore that we have in really many places nearby. And here we have level 30 attack while waiting for the crest star to get to the tier 5 one tier lower and we are getting to mine it. And this bone right here gives us level 30 prayer. That's an amazing number. And here we have level 35 attack. And this 57 health and combat level 60 acquired. Amazing. And here we have level 40 attack. We're gonna change the strength to finish our Prayer level is a little bit over 5 kills, uh, I mean 15 kills, 10 or 15 kills to be done with that, so we get 32 prayer. After that we are just gonna be using our our bones, ah no, our runes that we got from killing this man and woman, and go train some magic. Let's see how do we get magic level with the lamp we have stored here. Hopefully, hopefully yes getting one extra strength level with 32 prayer so that's something and we have also made like we have at the moment 737 nature offerings and how many more can we still do let's see four five nine eleven so that would mean 440 nature offerings on top of that. That's gonna be amazing. That's a ton. Then let's see how many runes we got. 225 mind runes, 12 chaos runes. Nice. Some herbs, probably not gonna even use them. And some fires, probably not gonna touch them either, but we will see. Let's go train some magic. So I just finished the runes. We are still 3.7k away. We also got a book of knowledge while we were at it. So extra 500 XP and extra 750 XP. So now we are 2.5k away from level up and we just got 5.4k XP from that grind. Amazing. And then we got also one dwarf feed, so that's 40 more nature offerings, and then we're just gonna use two nature runes and one law rune to finish this grind. Yes. So if you were wondering, we got 1174 nature offerings from the melee grind that took quite a bit. Hey, and we finally got the fox whistle. That took literally so many hours, and it's the last unique we need to get on this chunk. The rest is just pure skilling, just getting fletching and farmaking XP with the magic XP, and we are done. So here you see we just got the fox whistle, so we can take it off from here. Amazing, it's done. Finally it's done. 
It took so many events you can't even imagine. God damn. And this right here is level 52 Hunter. We can finally catch the Essence Implings that can give us the Cosmic Rune and give us level 57 Magic Grind. So that's kind of scary one. So here we have the Essence Impling drop table. There is really nothing for us, but the, like it's full of runes. It just helps us a little with the magic grind, not really that majorly. But the cosmic rune drop that can give us level 57 magic requirement for the level 4 ancient spell, the ancient diamond jewelry, because we got the gold ring and we need to turn it to ring of life after we get the cosmic runes. If we end up getting it, well, it's one in ten, so it most likely we will end up getting at least one of those drops in this grind. So we run out of nature offerings now, and we have none left. Literally, and yeah, this is normal packet, not stale, because I'm unlucky. Too unlucky. And I have at the moment 724k out of 99 fletching banked. Plus what I have here. So that's gonna be roughly six and a half thousand magic locks I still need to cut without the nature offerings. That's gonna take a while, but then we have 99 banked. So in the next video, I think we have banked 99 and we can start already in the next episode the fire making grind. And that's gonna be some pretty, pretty fast levels. Like, it's so many times faster than fletching. But now I want to give a special thanks for Mucker for giving me my first donation. Much love to you all and let's see you in the next episode. Bye bye.